Afternoon, guys. Back again with another live stream. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today, Oxford away. Hopefully, a really good game. Hopefully, three points for the gas. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well anyway. Um, get your score predictions in the comments as well. Let's see who's in the chat. Uh, just going to be reading out the lineups quickly for both of you who don't know. Um, we got uh, for Oxford, we got Stevens, Ruffles, Moore, Gorin, Matty Taylor, Sam Long, Henry, McGuane, Atkinson, Shadibo, and Liam Kelly. Strong bench for them as well. Eastwood, Brannigan, Winnell, uh, Ford, Ajay, and, and Abita. How's it going, Ellis? Slow. Hope you're snow. Hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, Oxford lineup, there's only one change. No, uh, Rovers lineup, there's only one change. Um, ups and comes out because obviously he's come off injured. And a go go uh, into the lineup. So we got uh, Joe Day, Maxima, Kilgore, Baldwin, Harry's, Leahy, a go go, um, Grant, Westbrook, McCormick, and Brandon Hanlon. So still no Oz Tumor and uh, Nicholson, which is disappointing. Big miss still. So hopefully they're back for Peterborough because I think we got Peterborough up next. On Tuesday, that's going to be another tough game, but obviously it's all about today. Hopefully, Rovers can get back um, to winning ways away at Oxford. Obviously, our record's good there. Six wins in our last six visits at the Kazam. Uh, so, hopefully, we can keep that going. Yeah, how's it going, Kieran West? All right, mate, just seeing the team looks like... Yeah, same formation. So, you felt we played, we we done all right going forward. It was just the defending. Today, we need to start well make sure we defend, you know, first and foremost, because obviously the defending on, on Tuesday was uh, was shocking. I'm glad a go goes in there. Hopefully he can he can have a good game, show our ups and it is done. Get some tackles in there. Um break up the play. Hopefully Hanlon gets a bit more support, but it's still gonna be um still gonna be a tough game. I think they've only played once in like three weeks, Oxford. They played last week against Cambridge in the I think it was like the Checker Tree Trophy. Uh, but, you know, they've had more rest. We've had more games. So, yeah, Kieran West says, I'm surprised on you signing. Yeah, I mean, he's only just got in. So he might he might even come on, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I'm just hoping, hoping for a good game today. Hopefully a win. Um, but I just want a good performance. And we need to start well, first and foremost as well don't forget to like uh leave a like on the video as well yes man flawless my guy you legend how's it going bro just here to say big up legend mate appreciate that so go and subscribe to sarcasm city if you haven't already flawless uh absolute class guy always on you know the streams with aaron and that absolute class make sure you subscribe to him thanks thanks for tuning in there just to say big up appreciate that mate thanks Hopefully United win um, again as well. Hopefully they beat Liverpool in the FA Cup. Keep up your class content, man. But yeah, just getting up. I follow now. But fingers crossed a decent game. Hopefully a win there. We need a win. But yeah, big up Flawless. Go and subscribe to him. So go and check out Sarcasm City. Absolute legend class content um on always on uh united central aaron uh united all them stuff absolute legend man <laughs> yeah game's kicking off in like six minutes so yeah man big up and let's hope for a united win yeah man um, hopefully donny gets a start and does well. Uh, Ollie, Peter, why, why are we playing five? I don't know. To be fair, I think we played all right going going forward against um, Crew on Tuesday. Obviously, the defending was pretty poor, but, you know, I think if you look at it, we've still got Nicholson out. we got Oz Toomer out still there. Two big players for us. Um, yeah, you know, I, I hope, I hope, you know, it, we can actually defend well first and foremost. How's it going, Wayne? Up the gas. Hope you're well, mate. Yeah, leave your predictions as well if you haven't already. I want to. I want to see the predictions. I'm going for a two-one win. I said. Um, 
I said a Westbrook free kick. Um, yeah, just got the eye follow up. Yeah, Matt's five defenders and two sitting midfielders. Yeah, I know. Bit frustrating, but to be fair, he can only. We've got a lot of injuries and well, a lot of people missing as well. Obviously, the the um, the bench as well. Uh, Tatunda's come in for Koiki, um, which is pretty surprising to be honest. I thought. Um, but yeah, Matt's five defenders and two sitting midfielders. Uh, Ollie says, in my eyes, we need to drop Ema. To be fair, he'd he done all right going forward the other day. It was just his defending, especially for the second goal. He got, because he's slow as well. So if he if he goes up there, then, um, then you know, he can't really get back, you know. But hopefully he has a good game today. He needs to play well, because obviously we got Williams on the bench, the new signing from MK Dons, uh, who we got on a permanent deal. Uh, so he needs to play well. And, you know, he'll be knowing that if he doesn't, then Williams will come straight in probably on Tuesday. Ollie says 2 0 Rovers win. Kilgore and Branlon Hanlon with a goal. Yeah, it'd be nice to keep a clean sheet. Need, uh, need to keep Taylor out. And, you know, they got a lot of good players, good players on the bench. Even like the likes of Sam Winnell on the bench, you know, it's pretty mad, like compared to our bench. Our, our bench is really, well, quite weak, to be honest. Um, Ellis Snow and Hanlon, yeah, fingers crossed. And glad, yeah, I'm I'm pretty glad that I go go back. I'm surprised he didn't didn't start away to crew. I think Upson's been having. It's weird with Upson. He has one good game, then he has three or four bad games, which is annoying. So so inconsistent. Obviously, last time we faced Oxford, he scored an absolute worldy. Obviously, at the men when when we won three um, one. Matt says Oxford two Ro uh, Rovers one. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people. Um, on when I've left them on the you know the appreciation page and stuff, my videos, people there's been mixed mixed results. Um, some have said draws, some have said Oxford wins, some have said Rovers wins. Uh, Ed Ball says easy three points today. Are you a Rover a Rovers or Oxford fan? Let me know. Let me know if, if there is any Oxford um fans. Be nice to know what you think of the game. Um Ollie says I don't think that he's League One quality. Well, he he done well for us last season at Gogo. Um, I I think it, it's a bit stupid that he got loaned out. To be honest, obviously Garner in charge, pretty much a PE teacher. We shouldn't have got him in the first place, but obviously we're in this sort of predicament now where we're near the bottom of the table. We need to get some wins together. Hopefully, oh Upson, yeah Upson, yeah he used to be a really good player in League One, but he's gone down, gone downhill. Really inconsistent. Matt says, I think there could also be a lot of goals given Oxford's goals and defence ratio. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully a win. Players are out now. Kick off in two minutes. I'll see if we can get. So we'll have the Oxford commentators on, obviously. commentators aren't traveling so i think they're in a um he said they was in a studio the other day watching it so hopefully they can actually pronounce some rovers players names right but yeah massive game obviously derby hopefully another win there hopefully we can get back to winning ways putting a putting a really strong performance today hopefully hopefully most of the boys know how much of an important game is and the rivalry and stuff Yes, FPL Tips. Hi, Charlie. Good luck today. Cheers, man. Appreciate that. Go and subscribe to FPL Tips. Um, absolute quality videos on FPL. So I play FPL, doing pretty well. 97K rank at the moment. But yeah, subscribe to FPL Tips. Thanks for dropping by, mate. Appreciate that. Make sure you like and subscribe um, if you're new as well. On the, on the way to 1,000 subscribers, I think we're 904 away. No, I... Uh, Sorry, my bad. 104 away. Um, no, 96 away. What am I on about? 96 away um, from a 1,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. It is free. Drop a like on the video. Uh, Matt says, i like to see to Thunder back. Yeah, I mean, he's he's decent as a wing back, but I just, as a back four, it's, it's the same with Hare. He's decent as a wing back, but he just can't defend. Same as the Thunder. He's defending... 
is a bit inconsistent at times. But yeah, he was good to be fair. It'd be good to see if he was given another chance. But I doubt it. I think he'd be gone soon. The Oxford are playing a 4 3 3. They got Stevens, Moore, Long, Atkinson, Ruffles, Kelly, Gorin, and McGuane, and then Taylor. There you go. Rovers line up. Like I said, one change. Dom Henderson, afternoon, mate. Out of the gas. Hope you're well, mate. Up the gas. Hopefully, another win. But yeah, same formation as the other night. Like I said, one change. A go go comes in for the injured ups and. Um, Stitchy the same lineup as well, so we just need to definitely make sure we start start well and not defend like we did in the early stages against Crew. Otherwise, it will be a tough game. We need to get try and get the first goal. Hopefully, keep this um, unbeaten and hopefully winning record going at Oxford. Let's make it seven in a row. Fingers crossed. But yeah, thanks for all tuning in. As always, smashing the support as always. Like I said, subscribe and all that good stuff. If you haven't, it'd be really appreciated. Trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. But yeah, I just appreciate all your guys' support, really. Rovers, though, kicking off. Westbrook back to Kilgore. Harry's goes long. Oxford on the ball. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully a good start. Fingers crossed. Rovers throwing. Up on the right near the corner flag. Good start from Rovers. Ema with a throw in. Ema goes to a go go. How's it going, Lucas? Life. Go and subscribe to him, guys. Quality content. A lot of live streams. Go and give him the support as well. Appreciate you tuning in. Hope you're well. Seeing about the the Arsenal result losing, yeah, I know one nil. Not the best today. Too many changes, I think, from from uh, Arsenal today. Grant foul on Matty Taylor. Yeah, I think obviously Arsenal had a lot of possession and that just didn't do anything with it really. Oxford give the ball out of play though. Lee, he's going to take the throw in. Minute and a half in. Harry's goes long. Handling the offside though, but... Yeah, hopefully Handling can have some good chances. Uh, what's my opinion on Grant? Same with a lot of people, really. I don't I don't really rate him. Um, to be fair, first half against Crew, he had a, sh he had a shocking game, but... Second half, he made some good interceptions. It could have been a lot more. Um, who do you think is going to win? Well, hopefully Rovers. I said to, I'm a Rovers fan. Uh, hopefully 2-1 Rovers. But thanks for uh, tuning in called Gaming. Appreciate that, mate. Yeah, hopefully Rovers. But, you know, I could, it could go either way. Hanlon on the ball. Surrounded by Oxford players. Great switch from Leahy. Ema on the ball. Ema cutting in. Westbrook shoots, blocked. Goes out for a corner. Uh, fair enough. What do you think? What do you think the the score is going to be? Uh, cold game in. Oh, first Oxford fan in. But yeah, appreciate you tuning in, mate. Yeah, a lot of Rovers fans have, have had mixed opinions. Some say Oxford win, Rovers win or a draw, to be honest. But thanks for tuning in, Rovers corner. Yeah, let me know your prediction if you're an Oxford fan. Oxford head it away. Rovers head it back in. Rovers head it from Kilgore. Oxford clear it. Surely that was a Rovers ball one was fouled there. Interesting, interesting start. Wimbledon one 0 up as well. Who are they playing today? Oxford on the right, tackled by Leahy, which was a foul on the halfway line. Free kick to Oxford. Oh, they're playing Krill. <laughs> wow. 
Oxford take the free kick on on the right hand side. Stop the cross. Stop the cross. Baldwin gets it out. McCormick wins the second ball. Handling on the ball. Needs some support though. Coming forward, McCormick. Good ball out to Ema. Come on. Baldwin, good ball to Handler. Need some support, though. Trying to hold the ball up. Oxford win it back. Ema with a block. Rovers still got it. A go-go. Surely a handball there. Not given. Oxford player goes down. Free kick. Yeah, uh, Lucas Live. We made a lot of changes. Um, mess up. We missed quality. Yeah, like... Definitely lacked Smith Rowe. Definitely lacked Smith Rowe. William was awful. Yeah, interesting start though. Rovers, are, Rovers have had a good start, really. Uh, Piggott was the one that obviously scored for uh, Wimbledon. He always does. He's got a lot of goals this season. Player that I'd love at Rovers. Oxford take the goal kick. Grant wins it. Taylor wins it back. Oxford on the left-hand side. Ruffles goes back. Atkinson gives it away to Ema. Weird ball from Ema, but Leahy wins it back. Leahy goes long, but <laughs> goes straight out of play. Yeah, make sure you smash that like button as well. Um, like I said, subscribe if you are new on the road to 1K. Make sure you uh, smash the... Notification bell as well. Oxford uh, won the lap against Charlton as well. No, Swindon, sorry. My bad. Handling on the ball. Loses it, but goes out for a throw in on the left hand side. Leahy going to take the throw in. How's it going, temporary uh, Ufed? Hope you're well. Thanks for joining. Kilgore goes to Harry's. Good skill from Harry's. Good ball to McCormick. Leahy, though, poor touch. He hadn't had the best of starts. Kicked it out and a bad touch for out for a thrower again to Oxford. Just over six minutes. Currently nil nil at the moment. Um, it's on the bottom of the screen. Bottom of the screen, the score. Just scrolling across. Oxford on the ball, go long. Oh no, good turn from Taylor. Sh shot from Oxford deflected. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Great turn from Taylor. We know what he can do. Great turn from him, but he passes it off. And luckily the shot, I think, from James Henry is deflected. But we got to watch out for Taylor. Great turn there. Done Kilgore. Baldwin goes to a go-go. Back to Baldwin. Baldwin goes long, but Hanlon is fouled by Atkinson. I think they signed him this summer as well, Oxford. I think he was signed from Notts County, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, free kick to Rovers near the halfway line. Hanlon bundled over. Westbrook, I think, is going to take... It's going to go to Baldwin, actually. Good play there. Westbrook on the right. Shocking ball, though, in the box. Shocking. Goes out of play. Uh, it's awful from Westbrook. He's better than that. Better than that. Shh, poor cross from uh, from Westbrook. Oxford take this short goal kick, then go long. Always looking for Taylor. Need need to watch out for him. Harry's gets it clear. Goes out for a Rovers throw in there. Um, 
Oh, George, he's, he's on the bench, mate. Yeah, he's not starting today on the bench. So hopefully maybe see him later on. Leahy with a throw in. Oxford win it back. Leahy with a good tackle. Heads it forward, but straight to an Oxford player. Baldwin goes long. Needs to try and keep it on the floor because Hanlon's up against, I think, six foot six uh, centre back, Elliot Moore. So we need to keep it on the floor and not do um not do these long balls, need to get it in behind because it'll beat it'll beat him for pace. It'll beat both the centre backs for pace, but we cannot be hoofing it. I mean Atkinson's what, six two plus and Elliot Moore six foot six. So why we're hoofing it, I don't know. Oxford on the board at the back at the moment. Elliot Moore goes to Henry in midfield. Long on the right. Goes into McGuane. Good cut out there for Magogo. That's what he's there for. McCormick. Oxford clear it. Rovers throw in on the halfway line. Leahy to McCormick. Back to McCormick. Tackled though. Oxford come in. Watch the switch. Good header from Baldwin. Yeah, I got the video match pass, but obviously I can't. I can't show it. I can only just put the volume on. Oxford on the left. Good pressure from Rovers. Oxford kick it out of play. Throw in on the right hand side. Baldwin goes long. Hanlon with the header, but flicks it on to where he would be. Elliot Moore. Oxford go back. Yeah, exactly. Dom Henderson said Rovers are much better when they pass the ball about. Exactly. That's what we need to do, not <laughs> hoof it against some giant centre-backs where Hanlon's just up there on his own. Good interception from Kilgore. Baldwin clears it, though. Shadipa was on him. Throw into Oxford um, in our half. About 20 yards out on the left-hand side. Oxford thrown again. Good interception from Maxima. Also, let me let me know in, in the comments if the volume's all right for me. Can you hear me all right or the, the game? Shadipo on the left. McGuin goes right to Long. Gets the ball in. Deflection. Thank God Baldwin won the header. Otherwise, it would have been Taylor with the goal. But out for a corner. First corner of the game goes to Oxford. Good ball in from Sam Long. It's like a 1-2 uh, ball in and a vital header. Thank God Baldwin got in front of uh, Taylor there. Oxford's player down at the moment, injured on the left-hand side. I don't know what happened. I think it's McGuane on loan from Forrest. Corner's going to come in now. Get it out. Good tackle from Hanlon doing his defensive work. Yeah, 
another corner. Looks like they're going to make a sub in a minute as well. McGuane is going to go off, I think, and Cameron Brannigan's going to come on. Yeah, they're making a sub. McGuane's going off and Brannigan. Cameron Brannigan, the ex-Liverpool player, is coming on. McGuane went into the hoardings on the side of the pitch and that has had to go off. I didn't see what happened. But it's another corner to Oxford. Oxford cross it in again. Great header from Leahy. Elliot Moore again would have scored, but if it weren't for Leahy, good defending, good header. Great ball in from Law again, twice in a row now, but luckily we've headed it out. Third corner in a row, another in swinger for Oxford. Coming up to the 15th minute mark. Good header from Harry's. Oxford still on the ball. Gorin goes out left. Henry crosses it in, should be the keepers, and it is. Emer on the ball. Good ball to Hanlon. Just a bit too long though. Oxford keeper comes out. Good ball for Oxford. Long again. Ball in. Oh, thank God, Baldwin gets it out. Some good crosses in. We need to get out. Sat back a bit too much. Oxford on the right-hand side again. Shadipo. Ball in again. Good defending again from Rovers. But we need to we need to get out a bit. We're, we're sat back a bit too much, to be honest. Yeah, it looks a bad uh, injury, though. They're showing um, McGuane, the Oxford player, on a stretcher. So hopefully he gets gets better soon. Looks a bad injury. I don't, I don't know what happened. Oxford, though, playing it around at the back at the moment. Elliot Moore on the ball. Baldwin heads it. Ema, good play there from Ema. Goes long, but we haven't got much options at the moment. We're all a bit too central, especially when Ema there was back a bit defending. Come on, midfield. Great tackle, go go. How is that a foul? How is that a foul, man? Can't even make a tackle in football anymore. Great tackle, and the ref gives a foul. Wow, good tackle from a Goga, and it's a foul, apparently. Free kick about 35, 40 yards out. Got a lot of tall centre backs, but they go left to Ruffles. Ball in. Free kick's got to be retaken, apparently. Another free kick, because I think the ref didn't blow his whistle. Henry clips it in. Ema with the header. 
Should he put on the left? Stop the cross, Grant. Stop the cross. Stop the cross. Grant's been done, but good tackle. But it's gone out for a goal kick, apparently. Good work from then. I thought Grant was going to get taken on then, but good interception. And apparently it come off the Oxford player. Goal kick. Coming up to the 20th minute mark. West Ham beating Donny as well in the FA Cup. Sunderland are winning as well against Shrewsbury in the other League One game. Charlie White again. Joe Day goes long. McCormick. Good tackle from Oxford. And it also goes out for our Oxford throwing as well. Rovers started well first 10 minutes, but the last 10 minutes, Oxford have been, been the better team. Some good crosses and deliveries, and we've dealt with, with it well so far. Just need to keep doing that. Oxford go long, looking for Shidipo. I think he's on loan. I don't know whether he's permanent or on loan from QPR. Ruffles. Shadipo nutmegs Kilgore, ball in. Good tackle from Harris. Brannigan to Long. Sam Long, ball in, get closer. Henry on the ball. Tighter, Grant, good tackle. Harris gets it out. Yeah, Rubens players are back. Hanlon's just up there on his own. It's just all Oxford at the moment. Need to push up. Obviously, that's the thing with a, sometimes with two DMs, defensive midfielders, where you've got you they're a bit back too much. Good interception from and uh, a go go though. Grant to Harry's. Harry's trying to find Westbrook, but it was a poor pass. Good tackle from Grant. Get tight though again. Tighter. Oxford on the edge of the box. Goes back to Ruffles. Still in our half. Goes back to Atkinson. Brannigan get tighter. Shot goes wide though. Uh, Matt Langley, hope you're well, mate. Thanks for tuning in as always. Looking worrying for a striker with Stockley and the six foot five bloke. Yeah, he went to Motherwell, didn't he? And Stockley went to Charlton. I really want Nandale or I, I think Bogle. I think Bogle's or Bogle. I'll take Bogle. Good, um, good, good player at this level. Um, I think they, I'm pretty sure I've seen a Charlton fan say they've, they've transfer listed Bogle. Because they've got like five strikers, so I wouldn't mind Bogle. I don't know how much we'd have to pay, but apparently they've transfer listed him. Grant with a header. So it's just hand hand. We need a striker quick because Hanlon's just up there on his own, and it's good interception from Harry's. Westbrook goes long, but yeah, because you know. We need a tall striker because more Elliot Moore is literally on hand on Hanlon six foot six centre back. It's it's crazy, really. It's cr crazy. <coughs> Throwing their road first time Rovers have got up in their their half in quite a while as well, to be honest. But we have we have been defending well. Um, McCormick fouled surely. And the ref gives a goal kick. What is going on with this ref, though? Gives some bizarre decisions so far. Oxford playing it short. Goes out to Sam Long. Oxford tried playing a 1-2, but kick it out. But yeah, that's, that's who I'd take. I'd definitely take Bogle. Bogle or Nandale, but we need to get done quick. Don't really want to be playing this formation against Peterborough on Tuesday as well. 
want to go. We need obviously Nicholson, hopefully they're back soon as well. I'm not sure when because games are so quick, quickly. Like like we've got a game every Tuesday, Saturday for like the next you know two months or so. So we need a uh, we need another striker quickly because Daly's injury looks bad. Um, Grant though to a go go. Go go out to Ema. Good player from Rovers. Baldwin pushing up field. Goes to Harry's. We've pushed up a lot. Baldwin on the ball again. Ema pushed over. Interesting. How last five times Rovers have won or draw against Oxford. Yeah, Rovers, Rovers have won the last six away, but I think Oxford have got a few wins at, at the Mem. Um, Hull also winning against Portsmouth. Peter, yeah, exactly. Peter, Peter, it's going to be a tough game, Peter, bro. Clark Harris on fire. Smodix. I think they got Ipswich today away. But yeah, it's going to be tough. Need to defend well like we've been doing this game. So I think Oxford, are, although they haven't played a lot, they've they've had a good rest and they've won. I think they've won their last five games. So free kick there to Rovers. Westbrook, good ball in. Go up. Grant, a go-go. Shots deflected. McCormick deflected back to him. Oh, poor touch from McCormick. Wow, he's not having a good game today. <laughs> A lot of Rovers players having bad touches today. Throw into Oxford. Yeah, still still nil nil. Um, I don't think Ro Rovers haven't had a shot on target yet. Oxford have had. I don't think they've had a shot on target, but they've had chat. They've had good chances, but Rovers have cleared the ball well. Oxford though, good switch. Too far though goes out for Rovers. Throw in. Rovers go long. Westbrook with a header gives it straight to Oxford though. Oxford come in forward again. Shadipo goes past. Poor from Leahy. And he's going to get a yellow card as well. Yeah, it's not one of the greatest so far, to be fair. Oxford have been like the better team as well. I haven't heard Kilgore yet. What, as in talking or... No, he's done, he's done what he had to do. He'd done a really good... Um, he got done by Taylor in the first, I think, well, in about the 10th minute. But he made a good tackle to clear it. But apart from me, I haven't really had to do nothing. Bobwin and Harry's have have done good defending as well. Um, so yeah, free kick there to Oxford in a dangerous position on the right hand side. Leahy with the yellow card. Ball in. Good header from Josh Grant. The go go clears it, but. A Rovers player is fouled. Free kick to Rovers. How's it going, Josh Reese? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're well, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure if you haven't already, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. On the road to 1K, only about 93 or 94 away now. If you haven't already, there will be a match reaction out after the game as well. Rovers free kick. Day takes it. Trying to find Ema. Good header. Hanlon. Turns the rock. Oxford defender. Good tackle though from Atkinson. Clears it. It's just annoying. He's, he's just up there on his own. Good pressure though from Rovers. Hanlon tries to get it in, but poor ball. But a poor clearance from Oxford. Rovers throwing quite high on the right hand side of the pitch. I think Ema's going to take it. A lot of Oxford players backed. 
just smash the like, Anamori. Yeah, legend, mate. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. Ball win. Good skill. Deflected out for another throw to Rovers on the right hand side. Needs to try and have a shot. Yeah, I don't I don't think any teams had a shot on target yet, but Oxford have definitely come the closest two or three times. If it weren't for good blocks and uh, headers, Kilgore goes to Harris. Good ball from Harris. Ema. Ball in. Pretty poor ball, though. He needs to be driven across the floor. I don't know why he's playing a high cross to Hanlon and... <laughs> Hanlon and McCormick in the box against two big centre-backs. Needs to be driven along the floor. He needs to give good service to Hanlon, you know. He needs good service. One striker, you know, everyone, you know, just relying on him up front. You, we need to get a striker in ASAP. Or need someone back, you know, Nicholson back, hopefully Tuesday against Piebra and uh, Oz Toomer. But we, well, yeah, when you've got a cross like that, you need to play it along the floor. Goal kick from Oxford. Stevens goes long. Harry's goes long. Oxford head it back to the keeper, though. <clears throat> Sam Long on the right-hand side. Long ball looking for Brannigan. Good defending from Baldwin, though, but he gives it away. Ball in. Great defending from Ema. Looked like he was fouled there as well, Ema, when clearing that. 100% by March will have 1K. Yeah, ho hopefully even, even before that, Fingers crossed. Good defending from Westbrook. Another corner. Another corner for Oxford. I think this is their fourth or fifth of the game now. Rovers haven't really got, you know, Hanlon's just up there on his own. You know, need to if you're gonna have one striker, you need you need players up there with him. And you know, McCormick and Westbrook have been doing a lot of defending, to be honest. It's been a lot of Oxford possession, um, and it's another corner for them now. Ball coming in now. Get it out. 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 Wow, 1-0 one one Oxford, and course is Matty Taylor. Didn't win the first header and it dropped to Taylor. No one on him and it's 1-0 Oxford. Oh, my God. It's that like Elliot Moore flipping out. Didn't win the first header. Of course, it had to be Taylor, didn't it? Rovers won all the second balls and I think it was Hanlon. Hanlon was marking Taylor and Taylor's got away from him. And scored. Of course, it's Taylor in it. Of course, it's Taylor. Of course, it's Matty Taylor. Had to be, didn't it? Had to be. Of course, it's Matty Taylor. Such a poor goal to concede as well. <coughs> Bless you. I mean, it's been coming, really. It's been coming. We've been defending well, but it's been coming, and it's such a poor goal to give away. Um, Oxford won all the, the first balls, all the first headers. And, yeah. Han I don't know why Hanlon was marking Taylor, but, yeah, there we go. It was a Taylor-type finish. Poacher dropped down and he's just volleyed it. Not really a chance for day. I think that was their first attempt on target, actually. They've had a lot of crosses in, but 
and a lot of possession. But first attempt, I think. And look, we've got look how many Oxford have got back. They've got like eight or nine players. Well, they've got ten players back when we when we go forward. Good play from Grant. Poor ball though. We need to be better with our passes as well. Ah, uh, frustrating. Had to be flipping Taylor, didn't it, as well? Just a city score as well, apparently, says um, Matt Langley. So frustrating. But it's, it's literally been all Oxford. Like I said, we've got one up front and it's it's just, it's, it's not working. Not where he's getting no hand on his get his no service at all. Ten goals for Taylor as well this season. Four more than uh, Hanlon. But that's what I mean. Taylor's had a bit of, you know, you could see the more more Oxford players are up there. He needs support. You cannot have Hanlon. You cannot have Hanlon up there on his own and not have support around him. It's it's ridiculous. Especially like I said against two. <laughs> Two massive centre backs, Elliot Moore, six foot six, and Rob Atkinson, six foot two plus. It's just stupid. And, you know, with two, that's what I mean, having two DMs, you know, we just sit back, you know, players are more back, and and then Hanlon's got no support whatsoever. Baldwin is messing about of it here. Fucking hell. What is Baldwin doing? Just get it out. He's trying to do stupid passes. Just so sh yeah, we need something. We ne we'll have to put our younger up there with him or something because it's just you cannot you cannot have one strike up there. Formation is not working. We were defending well in the first first twenty five minutes, but you know it's annoying how they've won. Ev they won. Basically, the corner come in and they won every. They won three headers in a row, and then it just fell to him. But it's, it, it, like I said, it has been coming. They've had the more possession. You know, they've had half chances, but if it wasn't for Rovers players getting in the way, it could have been two or three. But yeah, he needs support hand, and he's got nothing out there. Absolutely nothing. Taylor fouled Kilgore there. Kilgore goes to Baldwin. To Hanlon. Crew have also equalised against Wimbledon. Need to get a point at least, man. It had to be this season, didn't it, where, you know, where we lose at Oxford first time in seven years. Good position there. Rovers have a throw in right by Oxford's corner flag. Ema's going to take it. Need someone in the box. Need to put a centre back in there or something, you know. Hanlon's just there getting marked and. Go go with a header. Falls to an Oxford player though. Baldwin to Ema. That's what I mean as well. When we get the ball, all the Oxford players are back defending. <laughs> Literally 10, 11 men behind the ball. Day kicks it long. Get on his touch. Come on. Come on. I need to try and get something before half time. I'm. Come 
Oh, very frustrating first half. Not really. Rovers haven't really had a chance. Not even a half chance, really. Come on, get a tackle. Kilwell clears it. Good clearance. Hanlon with the header, but gets pushed over by the six foot six centre back again. Shadipo coming forward. Lee, he's got to watch out on a yellow ball in. Good header from Baldwin. Just looks like they want it a bit more, really, Oxford. You know, like they've got more people attacking, and then when, like I said, when we attack, they they get back and defend as a unit, and just cannot get cannot get out of our half really. And when we do, we just give it away. Shut up, Taylor. Rovers give it away though again. We need to keep hold of the ball. Henry on the edge of the box. Sam Long. Go to him. Ball in. Poor ball though from Liam Kelly. Goal kick for Rovers. Five minutes left. Like I said, we haven't really had any chances. Well, we haven't had any chances. Not even a half chance. It's been pretty much back to the wall for most of the game. Rovers are on the attack. McCormick. Surely fouled. No. Again, the ref says no. Ruffles on the left. Good ball in. Oh, my God. Just goes past Taylor and out for a goal kick. Oh, wow. Same old, isn't it? Same old. Goal kick for Rovers, four minutes left to half time, plus added on time if there it well, there will be some for the injury to Marcus McGuane. Joe Day goes long. Oxford win it. Go go with the header. Come on, second ball, man. We're not even winning the second ball. Taylor beats Harry's in the air. Kilgore with the tackle. Goes out for a uh, Oxford throw in on the halfway line. Uh, we definitely need a strike. We need to get. We need a strike on at half time, and we need to sign a striker ASAP because you cannot just keep playing. Oxford tuck in. Good tackle from Ema. It's just like I said. It's just been back to the wall. It's been so frustrating. Nothing to shout about for Rovers. Oxford just been attacking. Rovers just sat back, not getting anyone up, up and out. Swindon are beating Charlton two 0 well, That's what I mean. Apart from apart from our our win, you know, well they they beat Ipswich, didn't they, a couple of weeks ago, Charlton? I know they lost to Donny last week, but they beat Ipswich. You know, they're getting players in as well. Um, you know, Oxford have been doing... No, um, ball in, no. Matty Taylor head over the bar, thank God. But yeah, you know, um, apart from their win against us, Charlton have been crap. You know, they've drew a lot of games. They've drew to Shrewsbury and, you know, lost to Plymouth, you know, and then they come to us and they get a win. You know, what can I say? Well, we need we need more attacking options, you know. Even the bench. Look at Oxford's bench compared to ours. It's it's pretty stupid, really. Day goes long. Hanlon 
marked up again. Goes out the Rovers got a throw in a good position. Hopefully we can try and create something before half time. Only a, a minute to half time. Leahy ball in, crap ball, but out for another Rovers throw in. Definitely need to get a younger and probably even Barrett on. Why not get him on? We want nothing to lose. We're not creating nothing. Minute to go though. Throw in. Need movement. No one's moving. <sighs> Goes to the Oxford keeper. I mean, he's had nothing to do there, keeper. Absolutely nothing to do. Uh, Baldwin with the header. Yeah, I know. Ewan Reeves says we can't even get the ball to a holy fit striker. Yeah. Just been nothing, nothing, no service, no service whatsoever. Can't blame him. He's got, he's marked up by two centre backs. Bowling goes long though. Westbrook keeps it in. Even with a header, but no, nothing. Needs to drill it on the floor. He keeps putting it in high. What's the point? Oxford coming forward now, counter attack. Sam Long, Kelly, Shadipo back to Long, Brannigan. That's what I mean. When they get the ball, we don't even make a tap. We t oh no, Kelly. People need to put a tackle in, man. There's not even tackles going in. As soon as we get the ball, Ox Oxford are on to us making tackles. We get close to them, but don't make a tackle. I don't get it. I don't get it. We don't even make a tackle. It's, it's so stupid. We just, the midfield is so easy. Like, Westbrook don't make a tackle. Agogo's made a few tackles, but he's the only one. Look, Grant's, Grant's done all right making tackles, but it's so easy. Like <sighs> Corner for Oxford. Great header from Baldwin. Needs to change second half. Needs to change. Oh my god, it's been so frustrating. Yeah, no worries, Matt. No worries. Cheers for tuning in. Half time coming up. And there we go. There we go. Half time. Uh, Leicester Fan TV. How's it going, pal? Yeah, I'm not bad apart from we're losing <laughs> against Oxford in the derby. But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm doing well, mate. Hope you're well. Cheers for subscribing last night. Make sure you go and subscribe to Leicester Fan TV if you haven't already. Great content. Um, but yeah, I'm good, mate. Hope you're well. Hopefully you beat you beat uh Brentford as well in the FA Cup. Cheers for tuning in, though. Kieran West says, "League two, here we come." Oh, yes. We need, like I said, we need, it's just so stupid. We've got handing up front. What is the point of how, like, we need to get a striker when we've got a younger on the bench, but even our younger, like, he shouldn't have even been brought in anyway, playing in, like, the seventh tier, whatever, of football. But, yeah, playing like this, you're right, it's, it's crap. It's literally been Oxford. Rover's just been sat back. Dom Henderson says it just sounds like Rovers are trying to float the long ball. Yeah, we're trying to float the long ball to one one small striker against against two centre backs. It's this stupid. It's so stupid. We need we need to play it on the floor. When we play it on the floor, we you know even against Crew when we played it on on the floor, we look good going forward. We look good. The defenders have been better. Um, which is a, obviously a plus, but 
nothing going forward. Absolutely nothing going forward. Uh, cheers, pal. Looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, it should be a good game. Hopefully, get a few goals. I tell you what, Justin, though, Justin is is mad. Just, mate, Justin, how he playing against Rovers, what, two seasons ago when Luton won the league? He was quality then and now in the Premier League. Fair play to him. Yeah, I hope you win. You should. I think you should win, Tony, being out injured. Um, but yeah, cheers for tuning in, though. Make sure you smash a like, guys. Subscribe, keep showing that support, even though Rovers are doing crap at the moment. Um, second half needs to change. Uh, we haven't even had a shot on target yet. I mean, Oxford, like I said, they haven't really had... Yeah, JJ looks like an England defender now. Yeah, he's he's quality, man. Fair play. What a but what a signing that was. What how much you pay for him? Like five mil, was it? Six million? Maybe a bit more. But yeah, he's quality. But yeah, like, you know, we've got he got nothing going forward. Without Nicholson and Ozteema, we just we look, you know, out of ideas. I mean, crew we were creating, but today, like I said, as soon as we get the ball, Oxford are onto us. Um and making tackles as soon as they get the ball, we get close to them but don't even tackle. So, um, yeah, it's been crap. One nil, and of course, ex Rovers striker, the snake Matty Taylor scores. Um, don't know why Hanlon was marking him anyway, but yeah, um, they won three headers in a row up off the corner of Oxford. Won every first ball, um. Rovers didn't win the second ball once, and yeah. <coughs> but yeah, I'm going to take a quick break, go and get a drink um, and stuff. I'll be back in like five five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah, Elliot Moore, ex six foot six. Yeah, I know it used to play for Leicester. Yeah. We, that's what I mean. We've got like a five foot eight, five foot nine striker up against him, one up front. It's ridiculous. Our best players are uh, injured, Sam Nicholson, and yeah, Elliot Moore is just having a field day. Absolute giant at the back. <laughs> we can't get past him. We haven't even had a shot on target yet. One nil half time in the in the derby. But yeah, I'll be back in back in five, ten minutes, gonna get a drink. Um and yeah, stay tuned. But yeah, come back in like five, ten minutes. And I'll see you then at the gap.
All right, guys, back, back. Yeah, cheers for tuning in to Leicester Fan TV. Appreciate that, mate. Go and subscribe to Leicester Fan TV if you haven't already. On the road to 6K. But yeah, um, kickoff will be in a minute for the second half. Like I said, summary of the first half. Nothing really to say to mu uh, much about Rovers. Um, it's just all, all been Oxford. Literally all been Oxford. Uh, other half-time. Um, Swindon are winning 2-0. Crew won all with Wimbledon. Gillingham beating Rochdale. Ipswich 0-0 with Peterborough. 0-0 with Lincoln and Northampton. Howard beating Pompey at Fratton Park. Sunderland are beating Shrewsbury as well. But yeah, it's been, like I said, all Oxford. Nothing for Rovers. Absolutely nothing. No chances. Not even a half chance, really. Um, it's been all Oxford. Good defending, um, apart from the goal, which is all, all, you know, the most important thing. And who was it? Of course, it was Matty Taylor, ex-Rovers striker. Very good striker for us. And if you let him have a half chance like it was, well, not even a half chance. It was a good chance. and But it's just poor defending from the corner, though. Oxford won. It was basically head tennis. Ball come in and Oxford won all three headers. Rovers won the second ball each of the three times. And then it was then it was a goal. Fell to Taylor and he, he wasn't going to miss it, was he? Yeah, it's literally been all Oxford. Just it's just it's been awful. From a Rovers point of view, it's been awful really. Um not even getting barely getting out of the half. And when we have, we've just lost the ball. Or, you know, Ema's put a few crosses in, but you could call it a defense like a centre back cross because he's instead of drilling it across the floor, um because we've got small players, we've just you just put it high and, you know, they've won it. So, um, yeah, um, nothing much to say. But, yeah, match reaction will be out after this. Hopefully, Rovers can get a decent result. <laughs> yeah, Jacob Posh vlogs. Hi, mate. Ready for Tuesday. Not really. Can't even get out of our own half during this game, let alone Peter, bro. How are you getting on anyway, Peter? Oh, yeah, nil-nil. Nil-nil, half-time. But yeah, cheers for tuning in. Let me know if you want me you want me to send uh uh my prediction for if you're doing a predictions video for that game. Uh Jacob and I'll I'll do that. For Tuesday's game's gonna be tough against Peterborough, but yeah, currently half time Oxford one, Rovers nil. Looks like at the moment Rovers um record of six wins in a row away at the Kazam Stadium is coming to an end. Uh, Rovers, like I said, have created nothing, nothing whatsoever. Um, it's been poor, really poor. Um, hopefully he changes it up at half time. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been poor. 61% possession, uh, for Oxford, 39 Rovers, six shots for Oxford, two on target. Rovers have had two shots, but they've been nothing really, not even on target. Um, Oxford have, have had one clear-cut chance, and that was the goal. But yeah, not a shot on target. Um, not looking good, but hopefully we can have a good start to the second half like we did um, on Tuesday, where we got two goals in the first five minutes. If we don't get an early goal, then I can just see Oxford... You know, they've been, well, good at defending, but they haven't had to do much, really, to be honest. But um, appreciate all you guys tuning in, as always, showing your support. Um, but, yeah, been poor, poor Rovers. Needs to change, needs to get, probably get Barrett on. He had a good second half on Tuesday. Um, his deflected cross went out for a corner, and obviously Ema got the goal, and then, a worldie from McCormick, but we need we need to get a free kick or something in this first. But here we go. Players are back out. Second half will start now. Like I said, 1-0, so hopefully we can get back into it. Fingers crossed. No changes either. Surprised at that.
No changes. I'm very surprised. Very surprised for Tisdale. I even got... Obviously, Oxford made that one change in the corner due to um, an injury for Marcus McGuane. Brannigan's come on. Um, like I said, Oxford bench is it's stupid, really. They got like Rob Hall, Winnell, very good bench to bring on. Free kick to Rovers on the halfway line. Baldwin to Grant. Back to Kilgore. <coughs> Goes out to Ema. Decent ball. McCormick. Can we create ball in? Ah, no one there really. Good start though. Good start. More of that. Great touch from McCormick, but his final ball was poor, but a good start. Header from Leahy. Good hold up play from Hanlon. The intercepted by Oxford though, and they clear it. Taylor just keeps diving, man, on the floor all the time. Harry's on the ball. Needs someone. Poor ball, but Oxford win it back. Harry's just launches it high. McCormick. Yeah, hopefully Tisdale give him another kick up the ass. Yeah, McCormick though needs support. Westbrook have a go. Shoots deflected. Oh no! Oh, Gogo McCormick got in the way. Flipping hell! Oh my god, they both got in each other's way. Flip sake. Oh my god, what a chance that was. They both got in the way of Gogo and McCormick. God, they need to talk there. Better start though. Way better start. Better than we've done in the first half. Goal kick though for Oxford. Two and a half minutes into the second half, and we've already looked better. Leahy with the header. Free kick though to Oxford. Apparently, Handon fouled the six foot six centre back more. I don't know how though. Keeper's going to take it as well. They've also got crowd crowd noise, which I didn't notice. Oxford, which is interesting. They go long. Emo with a header. Handon fouled. How is it not a foul? How is it not a foul? The refs give nothing for us in fouls, to be honest. Joe Day rolls it short to Kilgore. Kilgore goes long. Second ball, Westbrook, Ema. Good turn. Kilgore, Grant. Harry's. Good ball to Leahy. Come on, come forward, come forward. Ball across. Second ball. Come on. Grant. Ah. Oh. Throw into Rovers. Good play. Good 
Ema McCormick couldn't get the ball goal kick to Oxford but it's a lot better to start just need to get that clear cut chance like we said we had that volley a go go and McCormick both got in the way which was frustrating Win it. Good header. Second ball. Kilgore wins it. McCormick. Westbrook. Good dummy there. Knee support, though. Hanlon. Ah, I give it away. Didn't have much space, though. Harry's clears it out for a throw. Throw into Oxford. Goes to Shadipo. Come on, watch the run. Ball in the box. Kilwell clears it out for a throw in. Oxford have come back into it last couple of minutes. Come on, get switch on, Leahy. Leahy tackles him out for another corner for Oxford. Rivers haven't even had a corner yet, so. But yeah, another corner for Oxford. I think it's their fifth or sixth for the game. Maybe even more. Need to switch on, win the first ball, and clear it. Henry's going to take it. Jesus, short. He drilled it across to Kelly on the edge of the box, but a good block from Rovers. <clears throat> Grant with a deflection. Out for another corner to Oxford. Another corner from Henry coming in. Now, ball in, get it out. Good header from Kilgore. Westbrook clears. Leahy heads it. Westbrook. Handling on the left. No support though, but he's running through. Good play. Handling. Good switch. Oh, Ema, what was that? Fell to the wrong player again. Ema with sort of the volley, but it was awful. <coughs> great play from Hanlon, though. but Great ball as well, but fell to the wrong player. He was like on the edge of the six-yard box, and he just volleyed it over, but a lot better. Great play from Hanlon. Sort of counter-attack there. Used his pace. Went past two or three Oxford players. Great ball over. And like I said, it fell, just fell to the wrong player. But better again. But it needs to be needs to be a lot better. Especially the finish. It's just Lee he clears. Oxford were offside. Free kick to Rovers. Still 1-0 currently. Bottom of the screen is the score. Looks like Baldwin's playing CDM now. <laughs> so, I mean, on the bench, you haven't even got that many players, have we, really? Who have you got? You got... Fouled again, Lee. Finally, refs give a foul. Point. 
Harry's clears it. Good ball to Hanlon. Good hold up play. He needs more support though. Westbrook. Hanlon. Turns. Goes back inside. Great ball. Great hold up play. Ema. Deliver a good ball now. Ball in. Ah, second ball. Man on Kilgore. Good play. Harry's. Good ball. Ah, poor touch from Grant. Come on. Simple touch. Clumsy there from Kilgore. Baldwin didn't clear it properly and Kilgore nudges uh, Shadipo in the back. Great position for Oxford. Great position for Oxford now. Free kick. Clumsy from Kilgore. Very clumsy. Oh, come on. Cannot give sloppy fouls away, especially on the edge of the box with Brannigan, Henry... Liam Kelly behind the ball. Bloody hell. Really good position. Really good position. Come on, shit. Come on. Great position. Even Taylor's near this. Kelly. Oh, thank God. Straight at Day. Dave rolls out to Kilgore. Thank God his sloppy foul didn't come to much. Rovers player fouled again. They keep leaving these... They keep leaving these... Late challenges Oxford, but the ref don't do nothing. Yeah, thank God. Liam Kelly shot the ex Reading player. I think he's on loan from Fearnord. I think he went to Fearnord, but I don't know if he's permanent now. Free kick to Rovers then, right hand side in our own half. Great ball there from Harry's looking for Hanlon, but Oxford win it. Head it back to the... It was nearly a perfect long ball, but don't really come come off that much, really. Come on, keep pressuring. Pressure. Oxford long ball now, but it's going to go out for a goal kick for Rovers. Harry's to Leahy. Good ball to Westbrook. Leahy clears it. Throw into Rovers on the halfway, near the halfway line. Charn have got a goal back against Swindon as well. 2 1. Swindon. Rovers clear, no, Oxford clear it. Kilgore header, a go go. Thank God Taylor's offside there. Rovers. Ah, Taylor's getting a yellow card because he took the ball and shot when it was offside. Day to Kilgore. Kilgore to Harry's. Going to be another long ball. Oh, fuck him. What is he doing, Harry's? Give it away. What is he doing? 
Oxford coming down on the left. Stupid from Harry Zell. What is he doing? Harry's going to cost us there. Just crappy across across the middle of the pitch. How's it going, Ash? Congrats on the, the little one as well, mate. Um, Hello, Charm, mate. Worrying times. Think we're on our way down to League Two. We can't defend and we don't score enough. Big week for Tisdale needs to bring in some quality. Yeah, like it, like you said, it's the last week. We do need. Yeah, I said that. Well, a lot of people have said that as well. We need to bring in quality. We're having a water break here. fuck's going on here there's a water break what the hell what there's a water break are you serious are we in the summer is he an oxford fan because oxford have had one game in like three weeks is he serious <laughs> wow what is going on it's almost another half time. Both managers are talking with the players. That's bemusing, that is. Williams and a younger, it looks like, are coming on as well. Both stripped off. I don't know who's going to come off. But the new signing, George Williams, wearing number 43, and a younger are ready to come on. But yeah, weird, weird having a water break. But yeah, it looks like two subs are going to come on. I don't know if Ox are going to make any subs either. But yeah, a lot of people, there's been obviously different thoughts. Some people think we're going to be all right, but we are struggling. Like, you know, we had a good good run under uh, Tisdale in the league before Charlton, and we lost to Charlton 1-0. Lost to Crew 3-2 on Tuesday, obviously losing now. Not had a, sh not had a shot on target yet. Um... And yeah, you know, Peterborough coming up. We got a lot of games coming up. We got Rochdale coming up soon. Um Accrington away. Um Ash said, who would you like to see us bring in? Either Bogle, because I think he's been transfer listed at Charlton, or Nandale. Nandale is gonna be tough because I think apparently Romans are putting an offer but uh for Nandale, but a lot of a lot of teams want him, don't they? Championship and stuff. Um, so yeah hopefully Bogle or Nandale I think we need another creative midfielder as well um, and a winger or a pacey, a pacey guy as well but yeah Baldock and a younger are coming on now I don't know who's but yeah it's weird though a water break though yeah Rochdale will be a, we don't have a we don't have a that good of a record against Rochdale either at home but yeah, need to beat them. That is a must, must, must win. Especially with the games we've got Pompey soon as well, I think. Um, yeah, we need to get some players in. Ah, there's an injury. That's why. There's an injury to the assistant referee gonna say a random water break but yeah thanks for tuning in those 16 of you watching drop a like subscribe if you haven't already um i agree we need to stop yeah harry's is crap yeah especially like i said the ball he just done there if you're watching it he just tried to switch it but it went straight across the middle and oxford intercepted I think the refs let Taylor go for a, a piss as well. What the hell is going on? Uh, interesting. Bloody rip the assistant Lino injured. <coughs> yeah, Rovers. 
the hell? One Portsmouth player has two on goals. What the? Which which player is it? Is it Watmore, Raggett, Harvey White? Here we go, though. Rovers are making two changes, like I said. Williams, the new right back, who can also play right wing back, is going to be coming on and a younger. Williams wearing number 43. Wow, Watmore has got two on goals. Wow. Yeah, after a little break there uh, with the official or the, uh, the linesman being injured, I think I think he might bring off a go -go. He's had a decent game, but we need to go more attacking and go with, um, you know, we got two DMs, like four centre-backs on if you include Ema playing right wing back. What is going on here, man? What the hell? <laughs> Play still stops for now. Don't know what is going on. Yeah, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Less than 100 away from 1,000 subscribers. So hit that red subscribe button. Turn on notifications. I didn't even see the two subs there. And they come off so quick. I think McCormick's one of them. McCormick has gone off. Who come off? Ema. Ema and McCormick off. And Williams, the new sign-in from MK Dons and a younger on. So two strikers now. Um, do you know who the last five games are going to be massive? I don't have a clue, mate. I haven't checked that far <laughs> yet. But no, I don't have a clue, mate. If someone can let... Let us know who our last five games are this season. Throw in those two. Day goes long. Goes out of play. Bloody hell. Come on, man. <sighs> well, I think it's Ema. No, Ema's still on. Who else did he take off? Oh, come on. I think he's took off. Yeah, who's he took off? I don't even know. Yeah, exactly. Crazy, yeah. He's struggling to beat people now. Ball forward looking for a younger. Oxford clear it. Come on. Harry's with the foul. Who the hell is he taking off as well? He, who did he take off? Because Baldwin... Ah, he took McCormick and a go go off. Ah, right. So he's still got, he's still got Grant. He's still, got, still got Harry. Still got Ema. Still got Kilgore. Still got Baldwin on. Baldwin's playing defensive midfield. Wow, <laughs> that is madness. Oxford on the left hand side. Brannigan on the ball. Come on, a younger pressure, pressure. Come on. We need a goal. 21 minutes left, plus a lot of added time because this linesman was injured. But, yeah, 21 minutes to go. Still 1-0, Oxford. Thanks to a Taylor goal in the first half. Hanlon. Great play from Hanlon. Just got intercepted. He's got no one up with him. He's got a younger, but he's not even anywhere near him. Shadipo. Oxford go long. Come on, Taylor on the ball. Where's Leahy gone? Shadipo in the box, ball in. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, it's going to be a struggle. We need to get players. That we need to get a striker in January, like I said. Probably another creative midfielder. Um, because let's face it, we've got nothing really on the bench. The, our bench is so weak. Um, come on, just take it long, day. We need a goal. We need a goal. It goes long. A younger with a flick on. Hanlon, Westbrook. Oh, it's a crap ball from Westbrook, man. Come on, just hold just hold it. You don't have to do it first time. Also coming forward, Lee. He is miles out of position. Ball in. Poor ball, though, from Shadipo. Goes out for a Rovers throw. Yeah, our next five... Uh, we got Peterborough away, Rochdale home, Accrington away, Fleetwood away, and Oxford again at home, apparently. Yeah, we need signings quickly. We got a week left. We got a week left of the transfer window. We need to bring in players. <coughs> Oxford, um, no, uh, Rovers throw on the right hand side at the moment. Well, wow, Pompey are losing 3 0. Oh, crap ball from Baldwin. Why is Baldwin playing CDM? Why not just leave a Gogo on? <laughs> Gogo was having a decent game. He was putting in tackles, interceptions, and stuff. Harry's with the header. Baldwin to Leahy. Leahy goes long. Oxford go long. What the fuck? What the fuck? What are the players doing? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? What is this defending? Taylor scored again, it's 2 0. Fuck it, the, the, the whole of the back three thought it was offside and just put their hand up. What the fuck is going on? Sorry for the language, but you can hear. You, oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? 2 0. What what are the Rovers players doing? Did, like uh especially the whole of the back three, back four, all of them. Harry's Ema, Kilgore, just put their hand up. Are you serious? They've just given given Taylor to Oh my god. What in the fuck? That is shocking. That is shocking. What are the what are the defence doing? What a shambles! I don't I don't even know how's it going, Ollie. I don't even know, mate. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Chris Rallins, how's it going, mate? Yeah, it is crap again. Shocking. Even the sub, like, he's took off a go-go and, and, and put Baldwin in CDM. <coughs> I don't even know one what the F is going on. I know. How are you doing, mate, anyway? Yes, yeah, crap, crap. Ash says time for a beer. Yeah, it's 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 been awful, absolutely awful, awful. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm not sure. Lee Lee was Lee. He played the other the crew um player on the other day for the first goal as well. 
Absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. And of course, of course, Taylor, Taylor's going off now as well. And they bring on Sam Winner. What a, what a player to have on the bench, mind. Sam Winner on the bench. Yeah, it's enough to make a Saint swear. Yeah, exactly. Taylor had to be Taylor. Always said it was down to the squad. Yeah. And even now, look at look at all look at all the defensive players on the pitch, as well. You've got Harry's Harry's Kilgore, Baldwin, Ema, four centre backs on, and all of the defence end put their hand up and just stopped, just stopped. Sh it's shit. Absolute, not even a shot on target, and we're in the to the seventy sixth minute. Like Hanlon, Hanlon, Hanlon's had no no support. First half midfield were far too deep. McCormick and Westbrook far too deep. And yeah, I've stopped watching the press briefings with tears. So effing boring. Yeah, it's just crap. Westbrook though on the ball. Hanlon shot. Oh my god. What a save from the Oxford keeper. Oh, my God. First shot on target, 76th minute. But what a save and what a shot from Hanlon. Oh, my God. What a save from Stevens. Oh, my God. Rovers ball in. Uh, Oxford win it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but he's you. Yeah, he needs, but he, you can't ex, you can't expect him to play up top on his own when you've got two massive centre backs and no support. Even when he was at Gillingham, when he was up front, he was with someone. You don't you do not play Hanlon up top on his own. That is just it's criminal, really. Unless you've got good service and players up with him, like there was on Tuesday, there was players up with him close. Yeah, Ollie, Ollie said that was class. Yeah, what a save. But that says everything. First shot on target, 76th minute. What a save, though. He's had nothing to do the whole, whole game, though. Uh, a younger's coming forward. <coughs> Leahy, balling, crap balling. He's had an awful game today. Leahy again, Westbrook. Need support, Baldwin. Crap touch. Why the f why the hell is Baldwin playing CDM? Oxford are coming through with a beat at a sub. Good tackle from Ema though. George Williams first touch of the ball since he's come on. Good ball to Leahy. Westbrook. Baldwin. Shit ball. Why is Baldwin playing CDM? He can't even pass a ball, man. Why? Why did he take off a go-go and put Baldwin in CDM? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it makes you laugh. Why would you put, why would you put a, a centre-back in CDM? A go-go had a decent game. He'd done what he had to do. Williams on the ball goes to Ema. Craigie says, "Why is Baldwin? Yeah, well, why is he playing full stop? He does well, and then he gives it away, just like Harry's has done. But goes back to Baldwin. Bring on another sub. We we still got one sub left. Bring on I don't know. Bring on Barrett or something. Second ball again. Rovers don't win it." Yeah, exactly. Still the same with Clark Harris when we had when we had him. He always needs someone. Yeah, exactly. You can't ex you can't expect in, unless you're unless you're you know a, qu a really quality striker. Like even Har 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 uh, Clark Harris is quality, but he needs you. Ca you cannot expect like a five foot eight, five foot nine, 
like he just said he's waiting for the right striker to get in, but you know we're running out of time. There's there's a week left of the of the transfer window, a week, and we haven't got we've only got brought in Day and Williams yet. You know we've already got two right backs brought in Williams, but I don't know. We need that's what I mean. We need players for the bench. We need like Barrett to go out on loan. He's obviously not good enough handling on the ball on his own. I feel, I feel so sorry for Hanlon. So sorry for Hanlon. He's had, I mean, quality shot, but before that, he's had no support. No one within 10 yards of him. Good ball from Hanlon to West Westbrook. Hanlon looking for Williams. It's just been crap, though. Drop a like if you haven't already, though. Subscribe. Appreciate all you tuning in. 17 uh, at the moment tuned in, smashing the support. Uh, Peter Brunex as well, man. This is crazy. <coughs> Just says everything. They're one shot on target in 81 minutes. And Tisdale, he's got a good header from a younger. Ball in. Emo gets it clear. But that shocking goal. Wait till you see that. I didn't I didn't even it was so quick, I didn't even see what all I seen was the three centre backs just have their hand up like that. It's embarrassing. The the the, sh the goals we're conceding are shit. Really poor. Really poor. Westbrook on the ball. Ball in. Keeper punches. Good punch from him, really. Done what he's had to do. They can't really can't blame him for the goals again. It's just the defending is is crap, absolute crap. Uh, and of course it would be this season that we lose our flipping um, winning record at Oxford six in a row, coming to an end. Baldwin gives it away. Oxford give it away, goes back today. But you, you can't even, you can't, I know Baldwin's done crap at DM, but you cannot blame him. He's not a DM. He's not a DM. Why would you take off at least, we've still got another sub left yet. Westbrook gives it away. Poor again from him today. Ball in, Kilgore gets it out to an Oxford player. Rover just sat back. Yeah, don't forget the match reaction as well. I'll be giving an in-depth talk on there. Probably a, a sort of a... Here comes Hanlon, though. Fouled again. Great run again. He had no support. I feel so sorry for Hanlon. Being asked to play up front on his own with nothing around him. It's just... It's crap, really. He's done well. The the, the shot he had, the some of the passes he put out wide... Especially for Ema in the second half, where Ema just bloomed it over the bar. It's just so easy for them, really. It's been so easy. Crappy from the linesman as well. Oh, it's just rubbish, though. So frustrating. Going to be a third, third loss in a row. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Challenging in the in midair for the ball. 
Where he was throwing. Ball win. Ball to Westbrook. Crap ball again. It's been shit today. Absolute shit, Westbrook today. Worst decision. Exactly. We shouldn't have even got. We shouldn't have even got in the board border border to blame for that. Then there was some there was some Irish guy, I can't remember his name on on Twitter. He done a I don't uh, what's it called? He done like a post about about the board and it's it's right. It's right. Oli Pater says something needs to yeah, needs players in, needs that's what I mean. We've relied on you see our games this season when we haven't played Nicholson and Oztumer, <laughs> we've been so poor. We rely on them way too much. Yeah, this is a very poor game, yeah. <clears throat> but what I see, you've got all these defenders on the pitch there and you still can't defend. That's worrying. Worrying. Especially the second goal is shocking. Finally, um, we got two more subs for Oxford, and Barra is coming on for Rovers. <laughs> That's what I mean. What's the point of bringing on Barra? <laughs> Three minutes left. Should have made it. Should have made it when we went 2 0 down or at half time, not 87th minute. So Shadipo is off for Dan Dan Ajay. And Kelly is going off. Westbrook is coming off. Yeah, he's 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 had an awful game. Yeah, if Hanlon gets injured, we'll be screwed. Yeah, not even a <laughs> Uh, why bring on Barrett? He's useless. Yeah, well, he done. To be fair to him, he done. Oh, we got another sub as well. Of course, you can make five subs as well. God, finally we bring off Baldwin. Why would you leave Baldwin on this long and play him CDM? I don't get that. But yeah, like and yeah, Hargreaves is on for Baldwin as well. Fourth sub of the game. Yeah, that's what I mean. One of the Mervyn Wright says that's one of the Rovers' problems. Not many shots on target. Yeah, one shot on target today. One from Hannon. Great shot as well, but he's had no su support. No support. Yeah, Matt Langley just says dead wood. Yeah, there's so much dead wood in this squad. The bench just says it all. Um, Craig, he said it's a, like American footy. Yeah, with all the subs. Yeah. Just crap, crap. And Peter, bro, that is going to be <laughs> Peter, bro. On, I don't know how they're getting on today, but Peter, bro, on fire, aren't they at the moment? Clark Harris smashing it there. Ball in for Oxford. Free header again. Crap defending from the two of them. Leahy and Harris was on him then, and he had a free header, and he put it put it wide. Yeah, smash like if you haven't already. Hit that red subscribe button. Support uh, has been quality already. Let's get even more on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Less than 100 away. I think we're 93 away uh, the last time I checked. So hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Max reaction will be out after the game. Be basically a rant because it's just been crap. Absolute crap. Yeah, I appreciate all of you tuning in there as always. Support is always quality from all, all of you guys tuning in. Yeah, 20 seconds left plus added time. I think there's going to be quite a lot of added time, but it's Oxford at the moment. NRF just been crap. Oxford on the ball. Ten minutes of stoppage time. Because if you don't know already, 
the linesman went off injured. Like to be honest with you, I thought there was a water break, but it wasn't. The linesman uh, went off injured, and they had to change linesman. So ten minutes of added time, but I can't see us doing anything. We've had one shot on target all game. We haven't turned up at all. It's been it's been easy though for Oxford. To be fair, it's been easy. They haven't really had to do much. The two goals are pretty much gifted to Taylor, of course, of course, of all people. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, Ollie Pater says, why do at a time we probably wouldn't even be able to score in another 90 minutes? Yeah, you're right. It's been crap. Oxford, I did a box. Please don't make it free. I beg you. A beater. Oh, my God. Straight across the face of goal. Just wide. Can't see him bringing three old players in in the last week either. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So close, though, to being free there with ex Reading uh, player Jordan Abita sliding it across the face of goal. Can't even get our, our half again. It's just been crap. Players have not wanted it today. Been absolute crap. Basically, hoof ball the whole game. Charlton last minute equaliser, yeah. Against Swindon. Swindon were 2 0 up away at the Valley. That's who we got on our. Other game in hand as well, when it Charlton that game on the Tuesday that got got called off like an hour before kickoff or something like that, or it's early in the afternoon. Probably Stockley's gonna take the mick. Oh, it's just been crap. You see other Rovers teams fighting in, the, showing fight in the other Rovers teams against when we play Oxford away, showing fight. But today, none of it. It's been so easy, so easy. Uh, Dom Anderson says, when the powers that he brought in Tisdar, they said they wanted to see exciting football. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we have got players out, but you can see how, how weak our squad is just by looking at the bench. Poor ball from Grant. That just sums it up. Seven minutes left of added time. Just been rubbish. Absolute crap. Uh, Rovers give it away again Grant poor challenge yellow card he hasn't been too bad today but as a DM you know don't really bring bring nothing really a go go had a decent game but he got took off before Baldwin did and Baldwin was in centre uh, CDM that just um, I don't know what to say Matt Langley says, and Rochdale. Well, thank God for that uh, last-minute equaliser. Ollie says, get a left mid and a striker. Go back to basic, 4-4-2. Ball in from Oxford. Ema clears it. Hanlon. Barrett. Good ball to Ayunga. Give it. Hargreaves. Ball in. Oxford clear it again. I swear, t four four two was Tisdale's formation. Yeah. Ball in. Ah. Oh. Second shot on target. Hanlon should have done a lot better there, but great ball in from, I think that was oh, poor. Didn't hit that with full, full fight. Oh, fuck. Great chance. Second shot on target. 
No, he, he, he was playing four, one. He? he? was playing four at the back last few games, but without Oz Team or Nicholson, Nicholson, he's been playing three, three, five, one, one. Ayunga shoots poor shot. Oh my god. Oh. Just got a laugh. It's been that crap. Get three at the back, then put five in midfield and two up front. Yeah, well, I just hope the. the Nicholson and Austin are about ASAP because without them, we're, we're dreadful. We're dreadful, especially when you're playing um, Hannon up top on his own, expecting to do everything against two massive centre-backs. And today, right, it's even like first, it's been like it all game pretty much, um, where he's he's been up front and the midfield have been like in our own half when he's up front. You know, you cannot, you cannot play like that. You cannot play like that. Three and a half minutes left of the added time to go. Barrett on the ball. Shit ball, man. Absolute crap. Oh, Harry's again. Harry's is absolutely crap. Hanlon on the ball. Barra, crap ball again. Oh, my God. Yeah, like I said, don't miss the match reaction. That will be out after. Um, smash like if you haven't already. Only two minutes uh, to the end of the stream, end of the game. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate all of you tuning in today. Um, I'm younger though on the board at the moment. Hargreaves. <sighs> Poor ball. Yeah, exactly. Where is the heart and the passion? Exactly. None of it today. None of it. Way too defensive. Way too defensive. No worry, Juan. Uh, thanks for tuning in as always. Thanks for always being on uh, Fans Predictions as well. They will be back. Fans Predictions. Um, if you can get them sent in to me, uh, t tomorrow and then I'll try and get them out tomorrow because obviously we played Tuesday so uh, anyone that wants to be in uh, fans predictions uh, video for Peterborough uh, send me uh, your prediction on Facebook uh, Charlie Hain uh, is my name on Facebook or on Instagram my Instagram is underneath uh, in the description Charlie underscore Hain 96 if you want to send to me just send a short video under 30 seconds or just under a minute, whatever. Rover's coming through, though. Hanlon. Uh, Barrett's still on the ball. Of course he's done. Gar said 39. Why the snake? Yeah. It had to be, didn't it? It had to be the snake. Leahy on the ball. 30 seconds left. Harry switches it. Cheers for tuning in, Matt. See you later, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Shame it was a crap performance. Leahy. Hanlon. Ah. Oh. Ball in. Younger. Of course, his header goes wide. Uh, Hanlon should have just shot, but he didn't. But yeah, cheers for shooting. Yeah, like I said... Get your fans' predictions into me. Um, video will be out tomorrow. Um, yeah, just send them in, Insta or 
Facebook Messenger. Um, yeah, game's pretty much over now. Let's yeah, let's hope we can get some signings. Um, we need to stay up. Thanks for streaming. No worries, uh, Kieran. Thanks for tuning in. As always, up the gas. Yeah, there it is. Full time. Two 0 Rovers. Absolute crap. No fight, no passion, really. Uh, first shot on target, 76 minutes, sums it up. Uh, cheers to tuning in, Stephen Reese up the gas. Um, but yeah, match reaction. Uh, match reaction will be out after this. Uh, it's George said, I'm an Oxford fan, unlucky. Yeah, fair play to you, deserved it. You showed more fight. We didn't really have to do much. You didn't really have to do much. Um, we were just crap. We were crap. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, match reaction will be at in about 10 minutes' time. Um, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the gas.